Hey guys, we're back, me and Tato, outside. Lovely day, love it, warm weather, beautiful. Another viewer request today. And I've got a lot of requests for this one, actually. And I just, uh, be honest, I haven't wanted to do it. I've, I've been looking at the design and like, meh, eh. But you know what? So many of you have asked me to take a look at this knife that I just, I have to, I have to do it. So, it doesn't even say on the box. Today, we're going to be doing a little unboxing and a little look at this, the CRKT Fossil. Now, let me explain to you why I didn't want to look at this knife. I think it's ugly. That's about it. Um, <clears throat> I think a lot of CRKT knives are very gimmicky. I think a lot of them are overpriced. I think they have a lot of designs that are artful, but not practical. And that's just my opinion, and you don't have to agree with it, and that's fine. This is one of the ones that I was looking at, and I, I just looked at it, and I said, how can that possibly be comfortable? And for a long time, I said, eh, eh, just like, meh. But you know what? It's very judgmental of me, and uh, so many of you have asked me to take a look at it, so I, fi I finally decided, you know what, uh, let me, rather than just being a judgmental douchey douche canoe about it, let me just get one. Then I realized I can't even get the color combination that I, I mean, if I was going to get one, I want one that I would like. They've got black and they've got this brownish one. You can't get the straight edge large size with the black G10. You've got to get it serrated with their ridiculous serrations. Um, what I realized I should have done now is just gotten two and then swapped these G10 scales, but I didn't think of that up front. So anyway, I am going to give this a fair shot. We're going to take a look at it. It's very popular with a lot of people. So let's start. So fit and finish for me is, is hard to evaluate on this knife because, you know, how do you, how do you judge what's part of the design and, and what's, you know, a mistake or, or whatnot? Um, I just, I don't like the overlay of this G10, the way it's patterned. It, I just, I, I don't. I don't know. So they say it's supposed to look like a fossil or something, and to me it doesn't. It just doesn't. It, now, it does look artsy, kind of, you know. I really like the way that there are those impressions in the metal. I like that. I don't like this so much. And uh, this is not that hard to do, by the way. I have bits on a Dremel that I can do that with. Um, now, theirs is probably done CNC machine, which makes it a lot easier for them to do. But, and, and, you know, to get the exact duplicate pattern every single time. That's not too hard to do, though, with a Dremel and some, some layered G10. It's not uncomfortable, and it does give you grip on the knife. I just wonder how comfortable it's going to be to hold the whole thing when it's open with, with all that. got another one of those clips that's up on those uh, kind of barrel spacers. Not my favorite clip style. It's not quite deep carry. Uh, not really at all. There's a lot of knife that sticks out above the pocket line. I don't know. Is this the kind of knife that you guys would carry day to day, though? Or is this more of a kind of collection piece for you guys? You know, feel free to comment. This G10 up here is, is kind of like I would want to sand that down a little bit with the feel of it before putting it in and out of my pocket, though. A little rough, a little rough. The metal edges, though, the steel is very nicely finished. Centering is actually perfect. That's good. Um, weight is not bad. I like the weight on it. It opens pretty smooth. Um, feels like bearings. It is good whether you push button it or you light switch it. Does have a very nice blade, I will give it that. Beautiful blade. A little bit of a recurve in it. I love the recurve shape. Um, not quite a two-tone finish, but, you know, different direction grind lines give it a different look in the sun like that. That's really nice. You know what? I was wrong. It's not uncomfortable. 
the clip is a little bit aggressive into the hand, but um, great choil right there. Not uncomfortable at all, the way the metal is sculpted. That's what I was really concerned about. This jimping, which doesn't look like much, actually is pretty grippy. I could see you actually, if you wanted to use this knife, it being a, u a user. Sorry, bit my tongue there a little bit. Um, definitely could see you comfortably using this knife over time. It opens pretty well with this little, not quite a thumb hole also. The truth is though, I mean, honestly, I think it would be more comfortable with just a, a solid scale on it. I feel like it could be more comfortable. But again, that the pattern in the metal, I think is beautiful. I love the way that's done. I really love the way that's done. And it's just really well pronounced over there. That's great. That's really great. Um, handle's actually a little bit skinny for my taste, just, just a little bit, but it's nice and long. Fits my whole hand. I don't feel like it's going anywhere. I feel like we've had a really good grip on it. Um, I'm not sure if this would be like my go-to EDC knife though. It's an impressive looking knife. It is. Hey Tato, watch out. I don't want to cut your face. What are you doing? Mm. Oh. Looks like there's just one little burr on the blade there that's giving us some problems. There we go. So, blade could use a little bit more honing right out of the right out of the package. Looks like that area in the recurve there maybe did not get the attention that the belly did right there, but whatever. It still cuts very very well. I mean, that's a very nice clean cut and you've got a lot of cutting surface on it too I just uh, I don't know I, I can't see myself carrying this day to day I, I just it doesn't seem like the kind of thing that I would EDC at all although it is it's super smooth you know it's got the IKBS on it and CRKT integrates that very well into a lot of their knives it is a very stylish piece but my honest opinion as a carry knife I, I'm not feeling it I'm just not I think that if you were to mount that blade in another handle I would like it a lot more I really would it's just a combination of the way the G10 is layered on top um, the, I, I don't know I can't I can't put it into words sometimes I just can't put it into words but I'm it's just not I think they went for style over practicality and it shows and it feels and I think they've got a really good potential for a really good, solid, hard-to-use blade here. I mean, it's a nice, thick piece of steel, nice length. I mean, lots of surface for cutting and everything. It just, I think it went off the, the rails a little bit with the handle. In terms of, again, in terms of a usable knife. Not, not a stylish knife, not a collection knife. I mean, it's great for that. I just, uh, my impression is... I wouldn't I it's not something I would want to carry around personally for for using for using You guys you tell me your thoughts though um, But I've been asked a lot to kind of take a look at this review it see what I thought about it and and that's kind of where I'm at so I Kind of forgot to look at the lock though lock is solid. I mean, it's a nice thick lock as as these frame locks go Solid lockup. It's not going anywhere. So it's well made. Just uh, some style points that I'm not happy with. That's all. Anyway, though, guys, love to hear your thoughts, what you think of it. Let me know. In any case, um, you are all awesome, all of you. I appreciate every single one of you, and I'll be back again real soon.